Hey guys, hope you guys are having a lucky day. Uh, you can see it's uh, nice and sunny, it's still cold though. Everyone's wearing their long jerseys. So uh, I want to quickly give you guys a little heads up and what you guys should be doing and what you should do. Um, this has helped me out for the last couple of days and this will help you guys out, especially for people doing long trips. So, quick story. Monday, Monday morning, I go fill up my car. I check the tire pressure's a little low. I go pump them up. They're all fine, drive to the office, it's fine. Later that day, I decide, you know what, I'm going to go to some customers and go sort out some calls. Uh, get in my car, tire pressure's low. Check it out, it shows it's the back right. Now, let me quickly look for this, see what's going on. So, I rotate the tire, check it out. Nice little screw, or little nail this size, making a hole punch. Okay, get that sorted out. Uh, drive to the garage, pump it up, on my way with work. Tuesday comes and goes, so Tuesday morning, everything is still looking good. Uh, I drive to a customer in Randburg, go check out their machine, about to leave. Notice something is not lacquer. Check my tires, it shows the pressure on the back right again. So, rotate the tire, another pin. This time it was a screw this long. So yeah. So, drive around, Wednesday, got to the office, went to one or two customers, didn't do too much. Last night, get home, and I say to my wife that it looks like the left rear, we're actually going to go visit some friends. So, I say to her, you know, the left rear looks like it's a bit low. I check it out this morning, it looks like it's stable. I drive to the office, pressure I can see is building up, and then going down, building up, going down. So, obviously, there's another issue. Uh, stop at my office now, pull out the car. Check the tire, a nice long screw this size through the tread. Lovely. The roads of Gauteng. So, for, to make it easy on myself, I've got these. Okay, so obviously most people have dealt with these kits. You can see there's two already missing. These are what I had to buy in Randburg, and I've used it in the last two days. They are lifesavers. However, the problem that you got with them is that if you are stuck in the middle of nowhere, example, I'm stuck in my office, I repair the tire, how do I pump it up? I got myself one of these. It's a little portable pump, with a nice light at the top there. It'll go up to 2.8 bars, so even the T8 it'll do. And this cost me 280 bucks on take a lot. I've used it about six times and it is a godsend. The one was actually, I was at a customer and my tire was like that from the room to the floor. Same story. And that was in the middle of Tembisa. Um, replace the lug. So yeah, so this is yeah, the Carson C1339-1 model. Um, you can see the name there. So yeah, okay, you can see the box is a little torn up. Because <laughs> the problem I've got with it is that Okay, let me quickly swing this around. As you can see, my boot is full of stuff. And then, the problem is that there's not much space underneath there. So what I actually do is my front seat, the front seat's quite high, about that high. I push it back, slide, slot it under the seat, and then slide it back into its home position. So, I'm currently letting the cement in that dry. I've pumped it up. Uh, Going to let it dry a little bit more. And then, probably in about an hour's time, or towards lunchtime, Take it for a drive, make sure everything is good, and then go pump up all the tires. Well, pump up all the tires and then take it for a good drive. Um, oh, that's another. Please make sure to pump up your tires when your tires are cold. Don't go drive for two hours and then decide to check your tires. Early in the morning or straight from work, when your car has been sitting for a minimum of an hour. But yeah, anyway, so you guys must have a lucky day. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd give you guys a quick little... Uh, Please have this in your car. It is a life save. I know the woman can't really do it. This is more for the men. But the woman, keep it in your car. So if you do get stuck on the side of the road for with a puncher uh, and someone is kind enough to stop and help you, it is a godsend. So have a lucky day. Love you guys all. Helicopter. I always think when I see a helicopter, I wonder, is it an accident or are they chasing someone? <laughs> I know, I think that's from too many movies that we've been watching nowadays. But anyway, guys, uh, check it out. Uh, if you want, uh, DM me and I'll uh, 
try and get hold of the details for you guys. But I've shown you the number. Um, go and take a look. There's a whole bunch of variety of different ones. Uh, I saw this one and I read all the reviews. I checked it out and I've had it for six months. And I've used it six or seven times. And believe me, you need one of these. Okay, guys. Have a lucky day. <laughs> Bye.